Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about tips to save money here in 2021. Now, before we get into the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if this video adds value to your life at all, make sure to subscribe. All right, let's get right into the video. So to get started, I'm just going to give you guys some tips on how to save your money and some things that really help me with my impulse control. The first tip that I have for you guys is that you're going to need to set a goal. If you guys just decide that you want to save some money but you don't have a goal whether that's new car new clothes just for emergencies or, or whatever it might be then it's gonna be a lot harder to save money especially guys when there's so many different things pulling your attention this way that way if you really want to hit your savings goals you have to be strong in what you want and you have to be strong in learning that impulse control to say no I would actually write down this goal on a piece of paper and then each week that you progress with that goal, write down your progression so that you can see the weekly progression towards the goal, give you some motivation to keep going. This will also help the goal to seem more achievable and more tangible and as you see the goal on a piece of paper, it'll seem more real to you as you see it physically and as you, you can see the physical written down progression towards the goal, it'll just feel more real, feel like you're actually doing something towards the goal and make you want to keep going and keep saving the money. There's a great quote that says, a goal not written down is just a dream. So make sure that you guys write down these savings goals. And like I said before, it'll definitely help with some more motivation towards that goal and it'll help you just see your progress and see the goal as more of a real tangible goal. The next tip that I have for you guys is to make and stay on a budget. If you want to save 10% of your paycheck, for example, then you have to have a budget to be able to make sure that you can save that 10% and still pay your bills. Because if you save 10% but you don't ever actually budget out anything, then when it comes time to pay your bills, if you don't have enough to pay your bills, then you're just going to use your savings to pay those bills. And if you do that, then you're obviously not saving any money and you're just going to keep using your savings every month that you mean to save. But since you haven't budgeted out properly, you can't save it because you constantly need to use your savings to get you out of the hole that you just got yourself in. Your budget should say where every dollar goes and don't ever take money from your savings. If the money is budgeted for savings, then don't go spending it on food if that's not what it's for. If it's for savings, leave it in savings. Obviously, if something major comes up where you have to buy food or an emergency happens, then obviously take it out, but just don't make it a habit every single month to impulse buy things that you don't need and using your savings to do that because then you'll never save any money. Also guys, once your fun money, like your spending budget is gone, it's gone. Don't keep using your savings to keep funding that. Let's say you blow through your whole whatever you give yourself for spending that month in the first 15 days, then don't go through your spending for the next 15 days to go out you know, to the movies, go out to restaurants, go out to things you don't need to do because you already used that 15 days, the first 15 days to spend all your spending money. If you spend every penny that you have and never leave any money for fun or enjoyment or anything, then you'll end up spending your savings and all of your savings every single time. I learned this the hard way where I used to save 80% of my check and I'd work super hard and I'd come home but I'd never see any fruits of my labor. I would get discouraged and end up spending all my savings money ravenously within just a couple of months. You have to give yourself a reward for working hard even if it's small or else you will get discouraged. So just make sure that your savings goals are realistic enough so that you can still have spending money on top of your bills and everything else that needs to be paid. Okay guys, so that was three easy tips to help you save money. If that video was helpful at all or added value to your life at all, make sure to subscribe. I do make new videos every week just like that one. Have a great day guys. See you next week.